Hello everyone and welcome to Creative Union Yoga. My name is Julia and I thought today we can talk about Sukhasana, so part of the uh, posture, creative posture play from the ground up series. Um, so we'll be focusing on Sukhasana today, which is also known as easy pose or simple cross-legged uh, pose. Now it's not always the easiest for everyone. Sitting cross-legged can be challenging if your hips are quite tight, uh, any knee discomfort or, or back discomfort. So what we're going to do is we're going to play around with different variations to set us up into Sukhasana and it's great for prepping us uh, for meditation. So the first half of this video will be setting us up into Sukhasana, finding Sukhasana, and then we'll move into a grounding, breathing, spinal elongation practice, a little meditation practice, which will be in the following video. So it should play right after. Okay, so get into something cozy and comfy and we will get started. Someone's chomping at the bits over here. How can we possibly relax? Sorry about that. I had to put them outside the door um, because of chomping. I didn't want it to get in the way of our relaxation. So finding that cross-legged position with whatever uh, foot you decide you want underneath the other. Yeah. So this may be comfortable for you and that's great. Um, but we're going to look for other variations you can do um, to settle yourself in Sukhasana. So of course you can sit with your legs remaining uh, extended along the ground. You can take the legs a bit wider if that's more comfortable for you. Um, you can sit on your heels. Absolutely. It's a different posture, but if that is more comfortable for you to sit, um, for meditation, then by all means, go for it. Um, and then the other, the other options we can try with the cross-legged position is by placing support underneath the knees. So um, if my hip flexors are tightening and engaging to hold my legs up, I feel all this tension happening in the hip flexors, I want to build my support. So something underneath the knees so that they can rest into and the more I can allow the weight of the legs to rest into something into a support the more opportunity I have um, to soften and let go of the hips yeah the hip flexors so that's one option also you can roll a towel and place it um, kind of in a u-shape uh, just under the the outsides of the lower leg so that they rest on the inner part of the feet. So that's another support system you can add um, to your setting up your Sukhasana here. And of course the other option could be that I choose to sit on something. So I elevate the ground a little bit higher, whether it's a couple pillows, a couple folded blankets or towels or a bolster, anything you have that supports your pelvis, supports the sit bones. Yeah, and again, you might want to add something under the knees as well. So just letting it all drop, 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 drop in a nice relaxed way. The final thing you can do, you can incorporate every single one of these supports under the knee, the ankle, the pelvis, um, as well as um, resting the spine into the wall, yeah. So maybe thinking of resting uh, the part of the spine between the shoulder blades, just gently against the wall, yeah. Good. So then finding your version of Sukhasana, what position or what version is most comfortable for you? What helps you settle and feel like you can sit for, um, a little bit of time and of course at any point if you need to move and shift around please do so this is very important in your journey and your practice 
because uh, if we have the urge to move and we resist it and we're like, no, I'm not going to move because I have to be still, you're actually creating more tension in your body and, and not honoring what's true, true for you. Okay. So really listen to what you need. So again, um, finding your Sukhasana and once you find your, um, comfortable position here, Pay some attention to what part of my body is in contact with the ground now. So what I feel making that contact, my sit bones, number one, yeah. I wanna draw my attention to those sit bones so you can shift around until you feel them making their contact. And then you may want to just lean to one side and peel the fleshy part off the bone so I can really anchor, anchor those sit bones. Good. And then just take a moment to really allow them to sink, allow those sit bones to sink into your mat. Sink them to the earth. And then just take a moment to uh, notice any other parts of the body that are making contact and allowing them to, sorry, contact with the ground or with any support that you have. Notice the contact, whether it's under the legs, the back on the wall, and allow yourself to really drop into that contact deep in that relationship with the ground, the body to ground or to the wall without forcing, without pushing, just by surrendering to the pull of gravity. Good. Yeah, I want to feel the weight of the pelvic bones dropping towards the ground, the weight of the legs dropping towards the ground. And as I experience that heavy dropping in the lower body, um, what you may sense or what's happening the more I I ground here is there's a rebound upward. Yeah, there's a lightness, a spring-like lightness upwards throughout through the spine all the way up to the skull. So I'm allowing that to happen, allowing the spine to be soft. So again, when I'm sitting, I don't want to think of sitting up, 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 up you know, jamming that spine straight, puffing the chest out. Yeah, you may, um, this may get uh, exhausting pretty quickly. So just get right on those sit bones, allow them to drop. Think of sitting down rather than sitting up, just a little mental shift. And then again, as you sit down, there's a spring and lightness upwards. So I have a two directional um, pull here, down towards the ground and then a lightness upwards. Soft spine, soft shoulders, soft neck. Good. So this is how I will set myself up for Sukhasana, yeah, to a point, to that point where I can really tap into the grounding of the sit bones, the softness of the spine, all the way up into the neck and head and shoulders. Good.
So you may want to try this a few times till you, you know, find your um, comfort and ease in Sukhasana. As Sukha does translate to easy. Okay, so we want to find ease in this pose. And the more we can get the body comfortable, then I can start to let the breath become softer and smoother. My mind starts to settle and um, quiet down. Okay, so you may want to just experience uh, the dropping and the spring like upwards. That might be your focus in Sukhasana for for a while, for a couple days, a couple weeks, months, till you really feel like you're starting to settle. So you might want to finish off here. If you do, And if this is enough for you, uh, for now, enough information for you in Sukhasana, you can be with this for as long as you like. You can uh, pause the video so not to interrupt your um, settling here. But if you would like to continue on for a bit of a deeper grounding, visualization or visualizing practice, meditation practice, then let this video end and it should continue on.